What is up guys and welcome back to another episode on the Chameleon Craft server. Last episode we finished off the storage room and got it all full up and now the grass is completely spread and it looks amazing in here. I also made it in land but look at it, it looks so cool. Anyway, last episode I did also say that we'd be making the farm room and I have made a start on it and here we are, exactly the same entrance way. But in here, this is where it's going to be, it looks a bit bland and weird and dark at the moment but I'll go into a testing world and I'll show you exactly what it's gonna look like okie dokie so here we are this is you can kinda get the idea of what this room's gonna look like this is the staircase here and obviously it's gonna go much higher and the chests are gonna go higher but this is the layout and pretty much these chests here it's gonna go all the way up to the ceiling gonna be melons it's gonna be pumpkins uh, cactus sugarcane um, and then these two are spare of or you know, spare for any other reserve items I can think of. Um, most probably wheat and seeds. I'm not quite sure though, or maybe trees. But they are manual farm. Anyway, so this is what it's going to look like. Um, I'm going to have kind of like a chandelier maybe in the ceiling or some really fancy roof roofing going on. But this is the main idea of the room. So we, these chests are going to go right up to the ceiling. Now this is when I want to incorporate some redstone into the build. I feel like these chests almost look like. Um, you know, they, they, you kind of, this kind of gave me the idea. You know the things when you go to a carnival, you knock the, the the button with a hammer, and it makes the bell go ding, 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 like that, almost like that. So if these chests are full, then it will show how full they are using redstone. So I'm gonna get on and have a go at designing, it and you'll get an idea. You'll get the idea when I've show when I show you it to if that makes sense because I'm mumbling quite a lot. Anyway, uh, cut. Okay, guys. So I have come up with an idea. Um, let's just show you. Basically, if I put a certain amount of items in here, the light down the bottom will go and light up. If I put some more items in it, for example, if I do this, it takes quite a while. You should see they go. Th that light will light up. Keep going. The top light will light up. So that's the idea. Um, to kind of show you how full up these chests are. However, I really should do it for each individual chest because that only corresponds to the bottom chest. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do that and I'll be back with you. Okay, so this redstone just got incredibly simple very quickly. Um, all I had to do was put one of these on each one of e on each one of the lights, so every other chest. And so what that will mean is, when I come down into the base, into the farm base, I'll be able to look and be like, oh, that means items are only in this chest, or maybe in this chest. And if the lat light is on, that means this thing is getting really, really full up to here. So it's really, really basic redstone. I'm going to have to do that for pretty much each one. Uh, maybe it would be easier if I had the lights on the outside like this, and had the redstone going round. So like, for example, let me just do this this and then go back up and instead having the redstone going round to the side the reason I've got the hopper by the way uh, not the hopper the comparator really far away you know to make it obviously if you want to do really compact redstone you do this you'd go one two three four because it's right next to it it will loop back into it so I just have to do this 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 and that also means that there'll be more items in it um, when the light goes on because if there's only one stack in the current will go to one block so I want it to have quite a long signal delay on it so that the you know, chest will be about half full when the light lights up so it'll pretty much be like that all the way up the side, all the way up the side, all the way up the side, all the way up the side that is a lot of redstone um, I'll have to use, it's probably the biggest redstone thing I've done on this server, it's not very big but I think the main thing I'll have to focus on is getting the redstone lamps because they'll be the most expensive. So something I've noticed about building underground, although it's good because I've got infinite amount of space, so I thought, I really don't. If I just go through here, this is the storage room. Okay, so after a lot of tree cutting down, we have made enough chests to fill this place and I don't have the redstone materials yet to um, do the redstone. I have I have enough redstone like dust, but I don't have enough glowstone. Let's go and have a little check actually. Redstone is over here. 
Yeah, I've got enough redstone. Two redstone lamps. Uh, do I have any quartz? It would be in the nether section, actually. In the nether regions. There we go. That sounds strange. Okay, so how do I make these? Let's just make one little... What? Hmm, okay. That's strange. Anyway, let's, let's try and make one section. So let's grab the lamp. A bit of redstone. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. So I need to make some redstone torches. Like this. And then I think it's like this. Nope. How do I do it? How do I do it? I swear it's like that. Oh god, how do I do it? Um. Oh, I know now. I need some smooth stone. Which I don't have. And I don't actually have a furnace. Be right back again. I looked at the, the recipe 10 seconds ago and I've already forgotten how to do it. <gasps> it's like this, isn't it? Yes, look at that. Professional. Oh, down this way. So let's do it on this side. I've hollowed out behind each chest as well. So let's go... Oh, no. One... Two, three, four, five. I don't know why I'm counting this pointless. Douche. Well, hey. That's one section done. And there's enough room for the hoppers to go in, which is awesome. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We've got another lamp. Let's just go do another one. Oh, no. Wrong way. Um, also, this episode will be quite short because I've got, I haven't got enough time to do any more today. And you may have noticed the last episode was quite short as well. Um, it's because I am going out on the Monday. I'll be out all day Monday. So basically, um, I won't have enough time to record an episode then. So I'm recording Sunday's episode and Monday's episode on Sunday. If that makes sense. So last episode was recorded the day before. If that makes any sense. I don't know why I need to tell you that. That was just filling in time. Um, let's get rid of this thing. I need that there. Get rid of that. And then... Go, what block should we use? Cobblestone. Uh, where's redstone? It's there. Two. A lot of jumping. There we go. Get the comparator. Nope. How am I going to do this? Just like that. Hey, hey, hey. So there we go. We're done. Oh, no, we're not. There we go. And fill it off. Block it off. So that's what the whole thing's going to look like. A bit of a problem you can see through, but maybe if I get rid of the torches on the other side, then you won't be able to see through. But that's it done. All I've got to do now off camera is fill this in with dirt, and then wait for the grass to spread down, do all the lights and the redstone. And then next episode, we'll probably start on one of the farms that will be up around here, and one of the tube systems leading in. So that would be really cool. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, uh, be sure to leave a like, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.